this is a very important video i have received numerous requests through whatsapp through email through the comment box asking for a class on how to prepare for an for an interview for a job interview especially a teaching job interview the job interview is a turning point in your life it is where you redefine your life where you redefine yourself in a matter of minutes how you do in your job interview decides to a large extent your destiny i have quite a lot of things to say on the subject from my long life from my long experience as a teacher things i picked up as a student as an aspirant as a teacher as a member of interview boards as a mentor but today i shall restrain myself and i shall share with you only the most important things that have to be conveyed to you on this subject what i say is relevant for any job interview especially any teaching job interview the job may be that of an assistant professor or that of a higher secondary teacher or an associate or that of an associate professor or even that of a professor most of the things are applicable to interviews that lead to the appointment to any teaching post the good news is that quite a few vacancies are expected to arise in the future especially in the immediate future that is good news indeed but there is also the news that the selection process is getting more and more rigorous and it is your responsibility to equip yourself fully to face this rigorous selection process the first thing i want to tell you is that your preparation for your interview should not be i repeat should not be an isolated incident it should not be an unconnected event it should be on the other hand dovetailed into your lifelong study if you are able to do that many of your problems will solve themselves of course a special preparation is required for your interview but that should not stand out 
as an unconnected event in your life. On the other hand, it should be fully integrated, fully merged into your lifelong preparation. I don't know whether I sound solipsistic when I say that I've just completed 18 hours of continuous work. Most of the nights I work until it's early morning. I read, I write far into the night. Your study, your preparation should ideally begin in the cradle and last until the grave or if possible even beyond that. If you are able to integrate your preparation for your interview with the general lifelong preparation as a student and later as a teacher, well, I think you have already been selected. Every institution is basically a family. And when you aspire to become a teacher in an institution, you do aspire to join that large family. The institution has every right to expect you to be aware of its identity or of its history or of its vision or of its mission if the appropriate context for it arises you have to convince the interview board that you are aware of the institution's legacy, identity, goals. You must know who founded it, who runs it, what is its student strength, what is its staff strength, at least approximately. So, it would be well for you to gather at least the basic information about the institution before you set out for the interview. The days, the hours before the interview are crucial. You should ensure that you are calm, composed, collected when you attend the interview. You should get a good night's sleep on the night prior to the interview. You should decide the dress you are going to wear. It should be an appropriate dress. Then there is the logistics of transporting yourself from your residence to the venue of the interview. Or if the interview is to be held not in your hometown, transporting yourself from your hometown to the town where the interview is to be conducted. You should believe, that's my advice, in Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, it will. I repeat, if something can go wrong, it will. And you should 
be prepared for things going wrong, for traffic jams, for trains being late, for bus services being cancelled. If the interview is to be conducted in a town, say 100 miles away from your hometown, and the town is an unfamiliar one, I would, if I were you, I would go there the previous day and locate the institution or the place where the interview is to be conducted so that I have a hassle-free transportation of myself to the interview venue on the day of the interview. The point I am trying to make is that the days and the hours prior to the interview are crucial and you have to ensure that they are well utilized. And please do not forget to take with you the necessary documents including your original certificates, a copy of your dissertation, or if it is the case, copies of your various dissertations, copies of the papers published by you. And of course, a pen in case you, ha you are asked to write something or sign something. My father used to tell me the first impression has to be the best impression. A very true dictum. And my father was a professor himself. I hope you are wearing the appropriate dress. What is the appropriate dress? One cannot generalize. It can vary from institution to institution, from region to region, from country to country. You have to wear the dress which is appropriate to the context. Walk into the interview hall confidently. Wish the members of the interview board respectfully. Take your seat gracefully and start answering the questions politely. Sometimes you may be asked to introduce yourself. So it would be a good idea to go to the interview, prepare to speak about yourself for a few minutes at least. Try to give an honest evaluation of yourself, a genuine assessment of yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Who are you? A favorite question of interview boards is why do you think you are the right person for the job? You should Go to the interview, go to the interview with an answer to this question. That is why I said you should have some idea about the institution you are aspiring to join, the students of the institution, the backgrounds from which they come. You should use these inputs 
along with the inputs from your biodata to formulate the answer to this question. You should be able to convince the interview board that you are indeed the right person for the job. You should certainly refresh your overall knowledge of the discipline, beginning with old English literature, the Anglo-Saxon chronicle, Beowulf, and not quite ending with this year's Nobel laureate for literature. You must make it a point to venture beyond British literature into American literature, Canadian literature, African literature, South Asian literature, especially Indian writing in English. You must not neglect the technical areas like the different kinds of poems, the stanzaic patterns, the meters, the figures of speech. Of course, you must focus tremendous attention on theory because it's a very fertile ground from the point of view of interviewers. Your aim must be to get an overall knowledge of the discipline, the various periods, the various authors, the various dates, the various works. Having tested your overall grip over the subject, you will be asked about your favorite area, your favorite author, your favorite book. You must be ready to answer such a question. You are expected to demonstrate, you will be expected to demonstrate your detailed knowledge of whatever you claim to be your favorite. If you say some author, some book is your favorite, you must be capable of quoting profusely and correctly from the author or from the book. You will certainly be asked about your project at the PG level or even at the UG level or if you have taken your MPhil, your MPhil project. If you are doing your PhD or have completed your doctoral research, you will be expected to explain in depth the various aspects of your research topic. You must go to the interview prepared to do that. This is something I always tell my students. Share your knowledge step by step. Answer to the point. Don't reveal everything you know at one go. 
provide an opportunity to your interviewer to ask further questions and elicit more information from you. Remember that you are here to take an interview, to attend an interview and not to deliver a speech. A very important part of the interview for a teaching job is the mock class. You will be asked to teach something. This something could be something of your own choice or it could be decided by the interview board. Ideally, you should prepare mock classes on topics from the different areas of the subject. You could choose a few lines of verse, a paragraph of prose, a scene from a play, one or two grammatical structures, one or two theoretical frameworks so that if the interview board asks you to take a mock class, you will never be short of ideas. You can be asked about your future plans, your future plans for yourself as a teacher, as a researcher, as an academic, your future plans for the department you aspire to join, your future plans for the institution which you desire to become part of. Ideally, you should go with a clear blueprint of how you plan to, you intend to enrich the academic life of the department, of the institution, of the students. When it is indicated to you that the interview is over, thank the board heartily and make your exit gracefully.